What's up guys? It's your local realtor, Chloe Shook here. And in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of the downtown Columbus area, specifically some neighborhoods that exist within close proximity to downtown. So if you're looking to relocate to Columbus or to buy property here, you might find this video useful. If this is your first time on my channel and you're wanting to know all about Columbus, please make sure you subscribe. And if you're thinking about moving here or have real estate related questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can call, text, email, message me on social media. I would love to hear from you. Okay, first let's take a look at the map here. Now the area I have highlighted is like the true downtown heart of Columbus. And the way the freeways come together, it kind of makes like a little circle. So anything in this circle, that's what you think of when you think of downtown, that's probably where it's at. So government buildings, uh, the convention center, nationwide arena, parks, art museums, the library, you name it, all of that is kind of within this little box. Now, if you're hoping to live in downtown Columbus, your options range quite a bit, but they are most likely going to be condos. Now you could get a studio or one bedroom condo for around $250,000. But if you're looking for a little bit more space, um, around 2,000 square feet or something with a view of downtown Columbus, you're going to be looking closer to the $700,000 to a $1 million price point. Now, of course, this is going to vary quite a bit from building to building, but you are most likely going to have a setup where you walk into the lobby of a building and then you take an elevator up to your unit. It wouldn't be like a condo with an exterior door. Think trendy loft style condos with lots of natural light, an exposed brick, uh, lots of character. That is exactly what you're going to find here in the downtown Columbus area. Now, just north of downtown is going to be Short North and Italian Village. Now, this area is kind of a mix of old and new. You'll certainly find some older brick multifamily unit buildings but you'll also find some new construction, um, specifically neighborhoods like Jeffrey Park. You'll find some of these three-story condos that give you a little bit more square footage for your money as opposed to downtown. Some of them have rooftop balconies. It's more of a style of living that feels like a miniature house. So you can park right outside your front door and walk right in, as opposed to having to go through a lobby and up an elevator. Now this is still a very walkable area and plenty of things going on given that it's right in between Ohio State's campus and downtown Columbus. Now in terms of home prices in this area, you can certainly still find some smaller condos in the mid 200s to 350 range. Larger condos and single family homes with more square footage are going to be in the six to $700,000 range. And lastly, a lot of the new construction three-story condos are going to be between $800 and a million dollars. Now, just east of downtown Columbus would be Old Town East. Now, this area has seen a lot of redevelopment in the past couple of years, especially with the addition of the trolley district. Now, what they did is they actually took some buildings that were used back in the late 1800s as a public transit center. However, it fell out of use, obviously, as technology evolved, but it has been recently turned into kind of a public market and food hall. There's a couple restaurants, a brewery, an event space, so that's all contributing to a lot of growth in Old Town East. In terms of housing in this area, you're gonna find a lot of historical homes. So if you're looking for that charm, those old brick buildings with very intricate trim, you know, original doorknobs, a lot of these places have been very carefully preserved and rehabbed. It's quite a range in terms of price point, especially as you get closer to the Franklin Park Conservatory along Bryden Road, there are several very large properties two to three thousand square feet that can definitely be over the one million dollar mark but in terms of price per square foot your money definitely goes further here than it would in italian village or the short north next we've got german village which is a little bit southeast of downtown columbus now much like old town east you're going to find a lot of homes with character as well 
Now this area is still very walkable. Along High Street, you'll find several restaurants and bars. Actually, one of my favorite things in Columbus is located here in German Village, which would be the Shadow Box. Now over here, they have like live sketch comedy. They have improv nights. It's really, really a fun place. Now the pricing in German Village is gonna be pretty similar to that of the Short North. A small house like this with around a thousand square feet or less is probably gonna cost about $350,000. Something a little bigger than that with about 1,500 or more square feet and probably a garage and some sort of yard would be closer to $600,000. And finally, there are some communities that are doing new construction in German Village, and these are mostly larger condos, upwards of 2,000 square feet, that are selling for around $800,000. Next, we have Grandview, which is a little bit northwest of downtown Columbus. And Grandview is actually home to some of the oldest neighborhoods in the Columbus area, specifically along Northwest Boulevard, such as Marble Cliff and Grandview Heights. Now, what makes Grandview so appealing is that a lot of these neighborhoods have sidewalks, so it makes it feel like you're in the suburbs. However, you're really like five minutes away from downtown. Plus, Grandview is a nice mix of old and new. There's certainly a lot of well-established older neighborhoods around here, but there's a lot of new construction going on as well. One of those developments in the works is Grandview Crossing, which is a 55-acre mixed-use development, which will have about two dozen buildings when it's complete sometime in late 2023. This development will have apartments, condos, office space, a food hall, and even a hotel once it's complete. Now, because of its desirability, Grandview is one of the most expensive places to live in Columbus. Decent sized single family home around here is gonna run you about $700,000. But there are, of course, um, condos and apartments, especially with all of the new construction happening. There will be some more affordable options to come. Now, we can't talk about downtown Columbus without talking about our beloved Buckeyes. Just north of the Short North is gonna be Ohio State's campus, which actually has its own zip code that just so happens to be 43210. So hopefully that helps you out at trivia night. Now just north of Ohio State's campus is actually another downtown suburb, which would be Clintonville. Now Clintonville does have a similar feel to Grandview as well, feeling like a suburb but being very close to downtown. Now around here, there is certainly quite a range, but homes typically cost anywhere from the upper 300s to 700 or $800,000. Now Clintonville is mostly single family homes, but they do range quite a bit in square footage. Something with maybe two bedrooms and under a thousand square feet would probably cost you between 275 and 350 and with about 1500 square feet it's gonna be in the 400s and larger than that could be anywhere up to 850 or even a million dollars now if you're looking for that suburban feel while still being really close to downtown and you also want to be in a very highly rated school district Bexley is going to be on the top of your list. Bexley is no doubt the most expensive place to live in Columbus because of all of those reasons. Bexley is famously known for its enormous lot sizes. I mean, most of these are a quarter to a third of an acre, some homes having up to half an acre each. These homes range anywhere from 700,000 to a million dollars, but you can find some closer to the four to $500,000 mark as you get closer to College Avenue, which is nearing the campus for Capital University. So that is essentially all of the neighborhoods surrounding downtown Columbus in a nutshell. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. If you're looking to learn more about the Columbus area, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so that you can get an update next time I post a new video. And if you're looking to relocate to Columbus or purchase property here, please feel free to reach out to me. You can call, text, email, message me on social media. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.